So my thesis is my thesis defense topic is the prevention and control strategies for the Marburg virus within its recent reemergence in Africa. And I'm Sohini Dada. I'm an eleventh grader at Adelaide East Stevenson High School. And some hobbies I have is I play piano, I fence, and I like to bake. So as an introduction. The Marburg virus belongs to the Filoverde family, which is also similar to the Ebola virus, which comes from the same family, which causes hemorrhagic fever, fever with a high mortality rate. And this virus has been listed on the priority disease list in 2018. But there has been many efforts for vaccines, and not that many vac a certain def definite vaccine has not come out yet, and. Through this paper, I'm trying to have this virus have more awareness so many more people know about the severity of this virus. So for my literature review, I talked about the causes and the risk factors, and that is by close contact with infected fruit bats. And when humans are when a human is infected with the MRV, then they can become exposed to it just by touch contacts or bodily fluids and many more, especially breast milk. And then for symptoms, initially there's flu-like symptoms, fevers, headaches, severe muscle pains, and then it moves on to neurological symptoms, increased level in certain enzymes and liver damage. And then that leads to internal bleeding, severe dehydration, and ultimately multi-organ failure. And currently there's no specific therapy for this disease, but the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases has conducted a clinical study with an experimental vaccine containing CAD3 Marburg, which is a modified chimpanzee adenovirus. And with this experimental virus, it has proved so far long-lasting immunity within the MRV glycoprotein. And this is like a very recent study in 2023. So we hope that there's more research done for a more definite vaccine. And currently the best option is to execute preventative measures to avoid contact with infected people and to avoid fruit bats and their natural habitats. And also to pro for health for education to have many other people learn about this virus. And while writing this paper, I reviewed different research articles from very from reliable resources like Google Scholar and EBESCO, and I analyzed different information for all the from tables and maps, especially from all the outbreaks over the past years. And then I synthesized this information to respond to the research question on the MRV disease and its management. Results and conclusion. So my question was, what was the significance of the Marburg virus and how does it impact humans? And then what treatment options are there? And if there isn't, how is, there, how is it prevented? And although this virus does not have a mandated vaccine yet, there's more research that has emerged with possible cures. So the future is, in the future, there could be more vaccines. And in the meantime, people who get MRV should be isolated. And yeah, thank you. And for my research experience in Gifted Gabber, I want to thank Professor Virgil. Because sorry, uh, so honey, your, your camera has just dropped. You oh, sorry. Back on? Okay. There. I want to thank I want to thank Professor Virgil because he helped me write my research paper. From I did not I don't have any experience with research paper writing, and he helped me with each and every step. 
in terms of organization and how to cite properly for this research paper. And Dr. Katie helped me open my eyes to infectious diseases. I never knew they were this interesting. And after each meeting, I learned something new, especially when I learned about RNA viruses and how they replicate. And she also helped me. I switched my topic and she helped me investigate Marburg viruses more. I, want, I also want to thank Gifted Gabbard for giving me this opportunity for researching because I don't have any research experience and this helped me with a new opportunity to explore infectious diseases. Thank you. Great job, Sohani. Uh, excellent um, for sharing. Excellent presentation. Very confident online. Loved your topic. And I'm pretty sure you must have spent a lot of time on this research. Cried buckets. We know that. Uh, but we have students who cry, but they never give up. And you are one of them. If this program is certainly not easy. You not only survived, but you provided an excellent outcome. So great job. Thank you.